Hello again Honky Tonks, now my intention was to make this video into a post Tommy Robinson London March summary of my experience, what went on, um, who I met and a couple of thank yous but I think this story takes precedent, I'll, I'll do that video later on. So after the crying and moaning and complaining of uh, alleged police brutality, footage has emerged that completely clears up the context of what really went on at uh, Manchester Airport last week. Now, for those of you who have been living under a rock, <laughs> uh, in a nutshell, we were shown mobile phone footage of two Muslim men being rough-handled by armed police, and one of them receiving a firm kick to the head while he was lying prone on the floor. Now, all the usual lot came out to condemn this, but I just knew there was more to the story than what the mobile phone image and the mainstream media and that shady lawyer uh, these two lads have speaking for them were saying this story was huge uh, it was trending on social media heavily the mainstream media were talking about it the politicians were talking about it and everyone was condemning these police officers despite knowledge that three of them uh, were seriously hurt by these two guys and the female officer received a broken nose but Nobody cared about that. And then all of a sudden, according to this uh, shady lawyer, uh, the lad who received the kick had a cyst on the head and now he's saying he's got brain damage, for heaven's sake. But this new footage uh, shows everything and tells the complete truth of what happened. And yes, these two lads instigated it. The armed police were talking to them and they kicked off. There were vicious punches thrown at everyone. And to be honest with you, considering there were armed police and this happened so quickly, so viciously they are lucky they didn't receive a bullet i think if this was an american airport they should thank their lucky stars that it wasn't but they'd have had their magazines emptied into them you know it it's true now there was going to be a demonstration uh, by these people they've been harassing the police station where this armed copper was working they even barricaded the doors and no consequences whatsoever so i'm wondering why the hell are these two people free from custody after what they did? If you watch the video, they savagely assault and beat these police officers. So why are they walking free? Why are they perceived as the victims? Luckily, no more. And for the Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper, to bow to the mob and didn't back her own police officer, I think, is quite telling. And out of all the MPs in Parliament, only Reform Party stuck up for the coppers and they were right to do so. I mean, I can't believe it. How the hell do these two walk and uh, get released without charge is beyond me. So now I reckon that police officer should be reinstated and these two thugs should be charged accordingly. And now thanks to this footage being released and telling the truth, the families of these two thugs have uh, well, conveniently asked for calm and no further protests because they know they're in the wrong. These two scumbags are lucky that they weren't shot. Because if you're stupid enough to attack armed police like this, I mean, honestly, they're lucky to be breathing. And like I said, if this was the United States, well, they'd be looking like a pair of colanders. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm Paz49. Remember to subscribe, share my stuff and give a like. And until the next time, Roger Trout.